Hello everybody, this is your favorite beetle in ESO today. This is just a short little video that I'm going to make about the Undaunted event and the reason for that is because of the following. So, yesterday I tried to get a group together of four damage dealers to do a farming run for the Undaunted boxes that you can get. And I'll show you that what I mean about that just a bit later and a lot of people thought that you can only do the dungeons once to get the golden undaunted package that you get with the tickets and all of that and none of them knew about the the purple boxes that you can get these purple boxes usually contain either some gear undaunted keys motifs um, what else writing lessons those type of stuff and nobody knew about that so um, how it happened was like I said I asked in chat for people to join me um, just a four-man group of damage dealers so that we can do fungal grotto specifically fungal grotto one a couple of times to farm undaunted boxes and the chat that ensued there were either but that's useless why do you want to do that versus some people that just didn't know so i end up making a couple of friends which was surprised and had so many questions about so many things such as the merchants that you can buy and are they worth it so either the inventory or the um <clears throat> the merchants where's that is that on the upgrades now houses these merchants or the bankers are they actually worth it taking them along is it worth the five thousand crowns is it worth all of that so the easy answer is it depends and that's really the easiest answer reason for that is if you are a player who tends to spend a lot of time away from a city where there is banks or a merchant that you can empty your inventory of because 200 spaces is not a lot and if you don't have ESO plus which gives you the extra craft bag which only comes with ESO plus you get all these stuff in your inventory and these are all just crafting ingredients so currently this character is only has only a hundred and eleven spaces reason for the hundred and eleven is because of the one extra space for the carry capacity of my mount which I also got through the undaunted farming session in fungal grotto so are they worth it yes and no if you tend to do the main quests and stay rather close to either merchants or a banker or those type of things then no not really 5,000 crowns there's a lot of other stuff that you can get with 5,000 crowns rather than a banker if they're on special I think they're 3,200 crowns which is better but still not wonderful um, and then if you are a person who likes farming in let's say one of the dells in Bashan for mother of sorrow gear and you trying to run that over and over and over and over again until you're blue in the face and you start getting carpal tunnel then yes maybe a merchant or a banker will be nice then you can quickly empty your inventory while still being in the dungeon and then going around that way so the dungeon that I'm talking about I wonder if this character has done it yet no there, there's a dungeon up here or up here somewhere which is a wonderful farming experience for mother of sorrow for your magical bolts but I digress so that's when you really need a merchant or a banker 
so that you don't have to exit the dungeon, go to a, a big city, sell, sell things, bank things, head back and do that all over again. So that's my opinion on bankers and merchants. And that was it. So this guy that we ran with Fungal Grotto yesterday had so many questions and so many people I found out didn't know you can actually farm dungeons for the un or during the Undaunted event to get those boxes. So the first one will always give you the first one of the day from in my time 8 o'clock a.m. Um, will always give you the golden box and then late the, the consecutive battles that you do will give you a purple undaunted box with different random goodies and it, it's nice to run especially if you want some motifs if you want undaunted the undaunted keys you can use to get the shoulder pads at the undaunted sites across well most of the main areas so it, it's quite nice but I will show you as soon as I quickly get a run into Fungal Grotto, I think there are too few people online to make a decent group. How many of the friends? Yeah. So, too few people online to make a decent group. So, hopefully, we get lucky and we get Fungal Grotto right away. So, I will go to Dungeon Finder specific dungeons and then fungal grotto one must be one because that one is quite easy and i'll walk you through it you n literally need to kill two bosses well one mini boss and one main boss to complete the area and it is rather straightforward there's shortcuts everywhere but i'll show you so hopefully we get something soon but i will jump back as soon as i'm in fungal grotto See you now. Okay, so here we have a fungal grotto dungeon, and I will show you how easy it really is. So, like I said, there's let's just make sure we have our ring of bell order. You just run. Literally, you just run. This guy knows exactly what to do. Looks like it. So you ignore all these mobs. And if you have speed on your side, much better. But they will come on, really disappear because they'll lose sight of you. Okay, so that's the. One boss we need to kill, War Chief Ozazie. Reason for that is I'm sure that guy's got it. That door's closed. So as soon as you kill this bad boy, the door will open. those goodies now the doors open and now we can run chests are boring so I don't really bother with them but it seems like we've got a strong group so killing the main boss will be quite easy and fast okay so here's the first one well, oh, th that was the first one. So the second one is you take a left, short left, and then jump. You will go to this little spot. It takes a bit of practice, but you will get it. This is the easier way. You get up there, and you run across the bridge. You take on the final boss. It's really as easy as that. So that's why you need a strong ish 
team so the quicker you can do it the quicker you can run kill and repeat the more boxes you will get it's as simple as that and that's it then we can ask by the ebony blade this is it we found the shrine okay they didn't want to do that but it's fine so you will get your glorious undaunted box for the first one always style page opal nice crafting motif undaunted plunder this is basically a thousand gold and then some or other gear piece okay we'll take those and i'll jump back as soon as i'm back with the with the next one okay so this has been our second run of fungal grotto hopefully we will do exactly the same hopefully there's a strong group as well and we run okay So, for reasons like this, I will keep on the Ring of the Pale order. I'm not planning to be long in this dungeon. And because it seems like I will be mostly on my own, we'll kill this one. So this round we do not have a very strong group with us, but that's all fine. I mean, anybody's welcome, really. help me always be nice in chat don't be a douche in chat please I've got when we start leveling up this character I did a dungeon and because technically I'm a PvP I don't heal I don't tank so I'm a damage dealer it people get frustrated and midway through dungeon I, I think i was level like 30 or so midway dungeon they will actually kick you off because you're not good enough i mean that, that's not how you really play the game but this is a mmo rpg so people will need to learn people will need to get used to the mechanics or just 
help people out. I mean, you don't need to be an arse. Let, let, let's be honest. So. And then that's what you get from now on every time you kill a boss in the dungeons. In the Undaunted event. Not after the Undaunted, uh, Undaunted event, but during the Undaunted event. So this one we got an Undaunted key and Braces of the Viper. Which is not bad. Okay. So, I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you enjoyed that. And that this was just... A bit of help because like I said not I, I had so many people yesterday asking me why we wanted to farm fungal grotto one for the undaunted and you you got your snotty remarks and you got your people who were genuinely genuinely asking why and didn't understand so this was just a a, a little lesson or a tidbit if you will in why we are farming fungal grotto one specifically because it's easy there's two bosses that you need to kill not so tough and i think you can do it uh, under five minutes or under three minutes or four minutes if you have got a strong group with you and that you then can farm the whole day you can get undaunted keys by the wazoo and you can get motifs and riding lessons and all those lacquer goodies and the experience in cash i mean this one where is that now did i sell it already um the cash four thousand gold i mean that's not terrible if you can get if you do let's say 50 runs and you get 20 of those just with those alone it's 20,000 gold 50 runs with three minute uh, three to four minutes each is about 200 minutes which is uh, three and odd hours almost three and a half hours of fungal grotto one so that's an easy money maker as well and you if you've got the extra motifs that you don't have you can always sell them you can go on Tam uh, tamriel's there, there, there's a website that will tell you exactly more or less the price of each motif and then you can try to sell them so what you do is go to the zone and say want to want to sell whatever let's do this uh link in chat so want to sell this specific thing for 1k that that's just an example and you will get buyers believe it or not people really want these motifs and if i look at yesterday's chat that not a lot of people actually know that you can get more than one box a day which was quite sad usually during an event most of the people will either hug world bosses for constant respawning and waiting for them to respawn or jump from location to location just to get more boxes and motifs will harvest everything that they can get usually you struggle to get any resources because everybody's harvesting because you have a chance of getting a motif from that um, but that's different events not the undaunted the undaunted specifically is the dungeons and then i would also recommend fungal grotto one okay it's easier to farm um like you said you uh, like i like you saw you don't only get the opals from a specific dungeon you get them from one dungeon and you have a chance of getting it so for instance these are the opals 
the sword that I have. What's this motif? Oh, that looks kind of cool. Um, the sword that I have is one of those. So there's another one. And there's another one. Along with this one. And with this is a sword we're currently using, which is part of the Choke Throne Great Sword Opal. So that you also can only get through this dungeon. So I hope that helped. I hope this will give some insight to a lot of people who did not know this and help a lot of people. But if there's anything that you don't understand or want to know more about or just my opinion on something, I have almost a thousand hours in this game. So there's, there's a lot of things I know and a lot of things I still need to learn. But if there's anything you want to know or want to just figure out, ask in the chats, the comments. Um, if you have any tips, tricks or extra suggestions, please comment as well. Or if you just want to be an ass, comment as well. So I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like, comment, subscribe, and then I will see you in the next one. Have a good one.